Happy Fragrant Friday, Fraghead. Hey everybody, this has been here at That Cologne Guy coming at you with a new Las Vegas got it this week review. I hope you are doing well. Happy Fragrant Friday to you. I uh, hope you have a wonderful weekend. And if you are watching this and it's not a Friday, quite frankly, here at That Cologne Guy, it is always a Friday, my friends. My name is Ben and I bring you new content every single fragrant Friday. You've seen the, the title and the description, so you know that this is none other than Fig Infusion by Essential Parfum. And I got this uh, through, this is a lucky scent uh, sample. So of course that can only mean that we are having one last week of dabs. Uh, I won't have sprays in my review uh, this week and they will also be faux uh, dabs because of course I don't have uh, any left. Always a good sign uh, when you completely run out before the actual review because it means that you really liked the fragrance. So yeah, I got three samples in Lucky Scent a while back. I reviewed two previously and this is the last one before I dive in on the review, though, let me just quickly say, if you like the content, always remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, and of course, turn on the notifications, especially if you watch me on your phone. Crucial, absolutely important. And then that way you are notified as soon as I upload my episode each uh, week. So um, since last Friday, yet again, my friends, and as I've stated many times, I think it's because I am, you know, a, a look-alike to Jeremy Fragrance. But yet again, we have had an absolute uh, avalanche of new subscribers, and I really do appreciate that. As we march towards 1,000 uh, subscribers, uh, we are in uh, the 920s. And so uh, if you're checking this out, please uh, consider subscribing. It always means a lot to uh, the smaller channels. Uh, and, uh, and always leave uh, a comment and let us know what you think of the channel. I really appreciate your uh, feedback, support, and oh, so much more. So when it comes to Fig Infusion, you guys who watch me each week know two things that are relevant. Number one is uh, Fig is one of my favorite notes. And, and number two, Natalie Lorson is one of my favorite perf uh, perfumes. And so this was too good uh, to pass up, right? It's a 2022 release, brand new, by one of my favorite perfumes. I love Natalie Lorson's uh, work. And then I also love Fig. So what could go wrong, right? Uh, it, it is it is too good. Is is it too good to be true? Um, so I I I have really enjoyed wearing uh, this one this week. And let me just say right off the bat, even before I get to the notes, one question that's going to come up is 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 this one a for the Fig lovers? Is this a superfluous choice to add to the collection if you've got? Uh, Philosikos by Diptyque, or one I've reviewed already, which is Te Noir uh, 29 by Lalabo. And the answer is no. I'll just tell you right off the bat, this is definitely a great addition for the fig lovers, and it's not a superfluous choice. When I get to the, uh, the notes, of course, you're going to get fig. But what I want to say about the fig is... You know, not that I'm, you know, uh, 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 the master dis uh, of, of descriptions for fig, but what I would say is, is that where Philosikos by Diptyque uh, really concentrates more on the green aspect, uh, the actual plant itself, to me this does have a creamier quality that focuses more on the actual fruit. So that, that's what I get out of this fig. It's not, I mean, it definitely has a green element to it. It does. But I, I don't see it as clear, uh, clearly green as uh, Philosikos is. And so, where like I said, this one concentrates a little bit more on the actual fruit. And it's a little bit more, uh, I would even use the word creamier. Um, whereas the Philosikos is clearly uh, a very green and focusing on the actual plant. Uh, so they, they certainly are not exactly uh, alike by any stretch of the imagination. Then I also get, uh, I get black tea. And, and actually, what I, I don't know if it is this, but uh, you know what I thought? To me, I thought of oolong tea. Uh, 
Uh, so I, I thought of a specific type even, and, and I would say, but it's clearly a, a black uh, tea combined here that works really well. In the initial blast, I got um, kind of an orange or a mandarin orange. You definitely get a citrus element when you first spray it. Uh, and then later on, I even picked up the probably the, the the note of 2022 which is orange blossom and we've talked at length of course the differences between orange blossom and neroli uh, not many uh, but uh, orange blossom is a very popular uh, note right now and so um, uh, it is included here uh, uh, clearly so when you think of fig black tea uh, later on sandalwood mandarin orange orange blossom there's nothing there really that that stands out for a particular gender so i'll just tell you right now this is clearly it's a, a, a unisex fragrance i would put this just right in the middle um in terms of its um uh, gender so 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 those are the notes let me talk a little bit about you guys know i like to talk about the names and the the nomenclature in the house let me just say so for fig infusion i don't have too much to say about the name but i would like to talk about the house so when it comes to the house you, this is an interesting uh very interesting house because you guys know i've talked about uh, at, at length about the companies that try to use natural ingredients and how i, I love the idea uh, but unfortunately, a lot of times they run into problems with longevity. And so uh, it, it, this is also one of those um, earth-friendly, earth-conscious uh, companies that focuses on sustainability and, and natural ingredients. Uh, and I'll have more to say about the house too, but I wanted to focus on that uh, just for a second. So like they use um, recyclable gla uh, glass, and then they also have um, you know packaging that is from recyclable material. Uh, so everything about their website, they have many elements uh, on their website that focus on this notion of sustainability and natural ingredients. I really tip my cap uh, to them uh, for that. I really like these companies um, like Atelier. I just I just wish that I could get a little bit more longevity usually. So, so here's the deal, right? Th this is one of those companies that besides that, they also have a rela relationship with the, the parfumes and they allow the parfumé to do whatever he or she would like. Meaning, this is kind of like a Frederick Mall uh, company. So you guys know, you've probably heard of Musk Ravageur. There's a company, Frederick Mall, where he he also um, gets together with a parfumé and lets him or her do whatever artistically they would like to do in a particular fragrance. So a lot of times what companies will do normally is they will contract a parfumé and they will tell him or her what they want uh, done. P maybe particular notes, maybe they want, you know, high sales, I don't know. Um, but, but the parfumé doesn't necessarily have the full freedom uh, to express himself or herself artistically and in frederick mall they do and in this company they also do so i really really like that so this company has a lot going for it in the sense that so it, it, here's what i was thinking before recording i was thinking to myself this is kind of like frederick mall and atelier cologne if they had a child right this would be essential uh, parfum because it has the, the the business model of frederick mall uh, the notion that the parfumé can do, you know, there's there's a high uh, level of artistic creation here, autonomy. Uh, the parfumés can do and pursue fragrances they probably always wanted to, uh, test the limits. Uh, and and then on the other hand, this uh, company focuses on sustainability and uh, natural ingredients. So I really really like that. You should definitely check out their website, and I will put that in the description. Um, below so you can check that out because there is much to say they have a lot of categories and you might be asking yourself oh no he's he's doing that lalabo he's doing that thing where he's talking about independent com you know company very different he's going to break out a manifesto and you would be correct so of course they have a manifesto which i absolutely love manifestos so i'm going to read their manifesto this is from essential parfums we believe that bringing back authenticity is essential. Who cares about Kate, Giselle, or Kendall? Perfumers are our true stars. 
Natural ingredients, simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. Wins over synthetic first quality perfumery shouldn't cost an arm and a leg. Sustainability is essential to manufacture responsibly should be an obligation. Top quality is our uncompromising commitment. Our mission is to restore the essence of perfumery exclamation point or exclamation mark, whichever one you prefer. So there is the manifesto. So so right now, uh, as I'm recording this, um, all uh, to my knowledge, all or at least this one, the a 100 milliliter is seventy eight dollars, and I will put up. Uh, in post, I will put up their b the business model taken from their website, um, by the way. And so they essentially what they're doing is cutting out the middleman, right? Their goal is to have a paraphernalia, do something artistically, um, uh, high, uh, create something that they want to create without having any sort of interference. Uh, and then they want to go straight to sales. And so they're eliminating everything in between, including all the extra costs. So for you to get a niche fragrance, this is really different because for you to get a niche fragrance at $78 for a 100 milliliter 3.4 ounce uh, is as outstanding. Uh, that is about as good as it, get, as it gets. And uh, I, I certainly love the price range uh, when it comes to this company. Absolutely. Uh, that, is, that is outstanding. And a certain strong point about uh, the company. Okay, so uh, let's move on. I, I wanted to talk about the house, though. It was important uh, to talk about uh, the business model uh, and how it differs from um, other companies. So uh, I've already talked about the notes. Let me dive in now on the uh, age and gender. And so uh, speaking of Lucky Scent, you guys know that I like to do the continuum. And so if this is masculine and this is feminine, and this is the microphone is our unisex category. This is right down the pike. So this is uh, entirely unisex. Um, I like this, and I think it also smell wonderful on a woman. In fact, my percentage will be, you guessed it, 50-50 in terms of people who actually own this fragrance. Um, I think it will be pretty close to 50-50, meaning you know 50% of people who have this as their signature scent, they bought it, they wanted this one, will be women, and 50% will be men. Uh, now, when it comes to age, really, I, this is this is one of the fragrances that you, if you like fig, right? It, so, I mean, I can, I mean, I don't know that too many high schoolers are going to be wearing this. Uh, so I'm just going to set this rather arbitrarily, quite frankly, at 25. So I'm going to say 25 and up will, will, is what you would most likely see for this. But but quite frankly, if anyone anyone who likes a uh, fig, um, but my, my daughter said that this, it, this has kind of like a hotel, like a luxurious hotel fragrance uh, smell to it. And it does. So you know, uh, if anyone's out there who's 18 and, and, and has the money to afford that, uh, then they will probably like this. I'll just stick to 25 and up just to give an age. Now, when it comes to uh, season, this is another one, though, that I think personally, I think would be fantastic year round. Um, right now, it's, it's quite humid and hot. Uh, we are in August. And it's been, you know, around 90, 92, and with about that percentage of humidity. So it's very, very hot and humid here. And, and it, it performed quite well, especially with the, with the Harry Potter wands that comes with the Lucky Scent samples. Instead of an atomizer, we get... So there you have it. Um, I really wish they would get atomizers. Come on. But um, it, e even with these, it did relatively, I think, even quite well uh, in the heat. I was happily surprised. So so that, that, that takes care of season. I would personally see it as a 365 day a year if you like fig. Now, obviously, it's closer. It's going to be more listed, I'm assuming, uh, on Fragrantica as closer to a spring and perhaps even fall uh, fragrance. Uh, so I, I know a lot of people do care about this, the, the seasons and which ones would be most appropriate. I guess if I had to decide, I would say spring. I would say fall next. And I would probably think uh, winter and, um, and summer a little bit less. But I like fig. 
Um, I mean, I love Dune. I love a lot of. I love all the fig fragrances I've ever tried. So it's very difficult for me to give this one, uh, you know, a, a specific season. But there you have it. If you would like it, we'll go with spring and perhaps fall as a second place. So, so here's the terms of of here's the deal when it comes to versatility. This this is a very fresh fragrance. It smells nice. It smells natural. Um, it it will I can see it garnering compliments. And I and I I typically I think it would work better in the office as a daytime fragrance or perhaps even social events on the weekend, but during the day. I guess the only quote unquote drawback and but if you like fig you're not going to see this as a drawback but you know I, I don't know that this would be the perfect choice for some people as a nighttime like romantic night out or a clubbing uh, scent um, I don't know that that would be it but then that said though if it matches your personality because you love fig you would want to go with it so I'm going to say for versatility it is quite versatile but that's the only thing for me personally with uh, Filosicos and for Te Noir 29 uh, and, and this fragrance. I, I kind of see these as fragrances that I, I personally enjoy a lot. I really, really like them. I don't know that I would reach necessarily for them in like an, uh, maybe for a, a romantic night in or, or um, e even a romantic night out or, or a clubbing scent. That's the only quote unquote drawback that I can really come up with because quite frankly, it's, it's very, it's quite versatile and uh, the determining factor for you will not be the price actually, but it'll always be whether or not you like fig. Um, and the tea element. So it's kind of funny because speaking of, remember when I said Frederick Mall and uh, and Atelier, if they had you know a, a child, it would be essential part of them. I kind of feel the same way about this fragrance when it comes to Filosicos. If Filosicos and and Tenua Twenty Nine had uh, a child, right, it would be something similar similar to this. I love the tea in Tenua. I love the fig and Filosicos. And so I, I actually really appreciate both of those elements in this fragrance. Bottom line is, uh, if you're a fig lover, as I said earlier, this is not going to be a superfluous choice for you. It's not. It has a place in your collection. I really enjoyed wearing this one, and I and I think it's going to be even better when it comes to longevity, projection, and sillage when I actually have an atomizer on a full bottle. So speaking of projection, longevity, and sillage, I think it did quite good indeed, considering it's the natural ingredients route mixed with the fact that I'm using the uh, magic wand. So I got four to six hours but uh, on, on longevity, but closer to six. And I would even, I would venture to say, I could totally see easily getting an eight hour work shift out of this um, if I had an atomizer on a full bottle. So I'm going to go ahead and say six. I'm going to put it at six, but I'm going to put an asterisk next to it because, uh, and if you guys have worn this and you have a full bottle, let me know. I, I feel very confident uh, actually in saying that it would last a, a work shift. And it's because you have to understand, I got six out of the hours out of this and that was with the wand. And that's also with uh, coming in and out of um, heat and humidity. So I'm very happy uh, with um, the longevity. Projection was quite good. I would say three to four hours with projection at about an arm's length. And then after that, it really does start to settle closer to the skin um, from the four hour mark on to the, for the duration. So I wouldn't call it a skin scent. And as I said earlier, I think it would also do even better with an atomizer. Uh, Siange coming in out of rooms, it did quite well. So another um, four to six hours uh, in terms of uh, leaving a scent trail behind. So if you're walking around, people will uh, definitely pick this up and it smells very nice and refreshing and so it's going to be hard to this would be perfect for the office actually because it's hard to, for someone to dislike 
I mean, a fragrance like this one. It might not be the type of fragrance for a lot of people that's going to make them, you know, stop you and say, you, you must write down, you know, like like Savage Dior, Dior and all that that gets all the compliments. That said, though, uh, this is a very inoffensive yet original fragrance. I really like that category, actually. I need to do an episode on that because I like the fact that a lot of these fragrances are inoffensive. People will like them or at least be neutral to them, um, but yet they're in no way a crowd pleaser. Uh, in fact, they're highly unique and original and creative. So I really appreciate that about this fragrance. I'm sad uh, to see this one go. So when it comes to the actual rating itself, this one, this one, this one is was was a tough one, and it, I've, I I vacillated between four and five sprays out of five um, this week. And I think I'm gonna, I'm going to go five. I'm going to give this one a five out of five, and I tell you why. The determining factor for me was this was the first time I tried a new a natural ingredient company, a company that's really focused on a different business model, and I got very very good uh, longevity. And so I was very pleased uh, with with that. And of course, the actual scent itself is great, and the, the parfumé is even better. So what more can you ask for? The thing that, the thing that I, I was tempted with a four out of five spray because of the notion that is you know it it is versatile but it it doesn't necessarily have that that eye opening wow factor where someone's going to stop you and say oh my god what is that write it down I I must know or that they might not um, you know go to you uh, at a club uh, immediately be attracted to you. Uh, right or want to talk to you at least uh, simply because of your uh, fragrance. That said, I felt like it was compensated by the fact that that this company is trying to uh, cut out the middleman and sell this at a, a niche fragrance for seventy eight dollars uh, for a one hundred milliliter is outstanding. I mean, a lot of the samples that I have for niche are three two hundred and fifty to four hundred and fifty dollar bottles, uh, full bottles. And, you know, I won't be seeing those bottles anytime soon. This one is, in fact, um, so a couple things I'll say. I'm either going to get this outright and or the discovery set because I noticed on the on their website they have a discovery set which I think is $21, but don't quote me. Um, it's a reasonable price. I think it was 21 And then they have one of those deals where if you buy it, you, they give you a coupon, and then you, um, if you buy a full bottle, they they will credit that on uh, to that full bottle. So that is outstanding. That is as good as it gets. So I'll probably get the discovery set next. I might even just go ahead and get this outright because um, I love the parfumé, and I actually really really enjoyed wearing this fragrance this week. It was. You know, it's one of those things where you think, well, maybe it'll let me down because it's too good to be true. It was not too good to be true. It was fantastic. So five out of five. I'm going to go five out of five. I really tip my cap uh, to the company and to the to the parfumé and to the actual fragrance itself. I, I personally love the fig, but I actually love even the black tea that much more. Just, just a wonderful, wonderful fragrance. So we're going to go five out of five sprays. Now these are faux dabs, as you know, because I am dry as a bone. And uh, I'm going to go uh, five out of five for Fig Infusion by Essential. Parfum. Boom. 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 And boom. There you have it. Another review by the boards. Fig Infusion. Really enjoyed this one. I hope you're having a wonderful week. I look forward to seeing you next Friday. And of course, always remember, my friends, Fragrance Marks, the celebration of today. Take care, everybody. To my knowledge, I think that the description I'm going to read is from Lucky Scent, but if it's taken from their own uh, website, uh, then I can I can uh, adjust accordingly uh, in terms of citing properly. It, it says, this is from Lucky Scent, The Scoop. So Natalie Lorson, 
right? A master parfumé, one of the best in the business, in my opinion. She says, I imagined a luminous fragrance full of joy and pleasure. The reminiscent smell of an afternoon dreaming in the orchard, comfortably installed under the fig trees. Okay, then the description. I love these things. I mean, I, I want to meet the poets uh, who create this. Perhaps the biggest challenge facing any fig scent is the challenge of equaling the actual aroma of a fig tree in bloom. A magical multi-dimensional aroma with vibrant green freshness, mouth-watering creamy fruit, and rich smooth woods all combining in a whimsical, whimsical, one of my favorite words, you know that, wondrous, deeply fulfilling experience that resonates with the warm glow of summertime. By capturing the totality of that experience and delivering a complex yet deeply soothing fig scent with the versatility, value, and casual yet elegant modernity that's become the hallmark of essential parfums, parfums, fig infusion delivers on that promise and then some sweet fragrant orange blossom contrasts with the pop of stemmy green arboreal freshness with a robustly smooth ribbon of black tea cradles a delectably juicy fig note made all the creamier against a warm rich sandalwood base fig lovers make room on the shelf your everyday perfect scent has just arrived that's pretty impressive that's pretty impressive um and i actually like the last sentence because this really is uh, a perfect everyday scent <laughs>